So hello and good evening, this is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and today you time again for another session of the Power Query Challenge. This time is delivered by Colin Taylor. You probably recognize Colin Taylor, he's been guesting on Curval before. He has made some videos about how to manage headers and the, the order of headers in Power Query, really nice. Um, tutorials in case you want to go back and read them. But uh, in today's video, I am actually going to show you something that he did that was really, really cool during the challenge. He, his method is uh, very similar to mine and others, but then he had uh, a step that I thought it was really, really good and useful. Uh, so what I will show you is actually uh, how he did to group the rows that have uneven uh, numbers. We've all had to do that, but his method was quite clever, I thought. Um, so with any more delay, let's begin and I'll show you how he did it. So first of all, for those of you that are new to the channel or also new to this challenge, I've uh, posted a challenge a few weeks ago and uh, some of you were very kind to answer me and show me how you would do something in uh, Power Query and I've been showing this for the last weeks. Um, if you want to know more details about the context, you can just check it out on the description box below. You would be able to see all the solutions from everybody, okay? But uh, today we're going to go through Colin Taylor's solution. And um, he has used some uh, functions to be able to do the cleaning and also do some... has done it in steps. Uh, so um, I'll, I'll show you. So he did it by uh, using my Excel file. That's the one that I gave to everybody. And he uh, had here. So here, for example, he shows the target results. He gets my uh, Excel file and it says, okay, this is what she wants out of it. So I should do something like that. And um, in here is where you will actually see the actual steps that he took to make it. So if we go up here, I think it's quite cool when you read <laughs> who's laughing. Initial setup. He's actually commenting the code, which I think is really good. Replacing crazy European text. And then he's replacing, you know, the Swedish characters. <laughs> I thought that was quite fun. Thank you. You made me smile, Colin. But anyhow, let's go to the task. Um, here, if we go up, this is, uh, I mean, here is simply importing the Excel file. It's referring to root, the root source, and this is uh, here where he actually gets the data in. Okay, so nothing strange there. We go up here, and then what he does is remove the info uh, at the bottom. He actually wrote it, and then he removes uh, the empty rows. There are a few of us that actually took these steps. Uh, removes the headers for 2015-2016. And then he adds an index. Nothing is strange there. He adds the date. He uh, promotes the date and then adds it to the column. And then because it's, uh, it is a date, everything else will get an error. And he uses that to be able to filter out. So this is quite clever. Daniel was using this trick also. I thought he was very smart uh, because he was doing everything in one step, basically. Uh, or two in this case. Uh, he changed to date. Uh, then he added inserted date. I'm guessing that he... Yeah, he added it as a date, then put it the time, then remove the date break, and then he added the um, the end time for the. Uh, this is the one that you see here. So start time, end time. It was on another row, so he promotes it using index like we've done in other videos. If you don't know how this is done, go back to the videos. I do it in video one and Daniel do, does it in video three. So you can check these. I will not go through it again. So video one and video two solution files, you will see the index trick. And then he continued promoting everything, right? So he promotes 
uh, the room and he promotes the uh, description of the session. This was for Tech Days in Sweden, Tech Day session, so super cool. Um, the next thing, and this is what I think it was so clever of him, because this is the deal. As you can see here, you have the description of the session, you have the start date, the end date, then you have the room where the session will take place, you have the, the uh, more, uh, a better description of what the actual session is uh, about, like a more detailed description. And then you have the speakers. And the difficulty with these was that you had either one speaker or you could have up to eight speakers. And you didn't know exactly. So how do you group this? How do you group things that you don't know exactly how many items they do have, right? Because the first four are the same always. But then you don't know. It could be one, two, three, up to eight speakers. So this is what I thought he was very clever. Uh, he, so he did a um, index for just the headlines and then he filled it down. You will get access to the file, okay? So you will be able to see exactly what is done in every step. And because some of us have done also these steps, you can be, uh, you can check the previous videos to see an explanation, a detailed explanation of what this is. And uh, this is where the cool thing happens. This is what I think you, you was like super clever. Not because everything were not, it's just that nobody did this. And uh, if you, if we click on here, what he's actually doing is to say, you know, okay, because the first four are always, you know, information that is the same on all the sessions. So you have the name of the session, you have the date, you have the um, description, then call that header. But the rest, just, we don't know what it is. We know that they are speakers, so call it a speaker, and then give it a, uh, a number. How cool is that? I mean, this is so clever. So he gets the headers and then he gets the speaker one and two, because in this case there were two. Header, 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 and then he gets speaker one. Header, 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 and then he gets speaker one. But then here there are six speakers, so he gets everything named. I think this was super, super cool. So really nicely done. He will get probably an error at the end. We all got that. And this is why we ha he had this replace error by null. Okay, so you will be able to go into detail. Uh, I'll show you where the files will be published. Then he uh, gets in here and then continues doing it. And what he's basically doing is uh, getting the names for the speakers and renames the columns. And then <laughs> he's invoking the special character function. I guess he had problems with this E uh, and O and you know the, the Swedish characters, so he's taking care of them. And he removes the columns, renames it, and yeah, he now has a list of the speakers and the name of the speakers. And then he unpivots that list. So by speaker one and speaker two, you can see it here. So he had, gets one column for all the speaker one, one column for all the speaker two. You have it there. And then finally he adds the images. For that he uses this speaker image path. You will have access to the file so you can check exactly what this does. But that was really, really clever and it's a very useful trick for other um, scenarios. So hopefully it's useful for you too. So this is all for today. Now, if your name is Imke or Oskan or Jekun, I need your help. Imke, I will contact you on Twitter. I have you there. Uh, Oskan and Jekun, you need to contact me because your code is not really working. Um, I don't know exactly. There's something missing and because, you know, I have some issues with the Turkish and the Chinese. So you need to, to help me out. So just contact me at curval.com. Imke will contact you, don't worry. And uh, yeah, it is all for today. If you like uh, this video, just let me know as usual by liking it or by sharing it with somebody that you think will like this. 
and um, if you're new to the channel you can subscribe i publish power bi videos every monday wednesday and friday friday dedicated to dax and uh, if you do subscribe make sure you click the bell to receive notifications when i publish new videos okay so you don't miss any of them have a great monday bye